Spring cleaning is that time of year where you go through your garage, you get all of those things you don't want anymore, and you put them on the curb, maybe with a free sign to see who else might want them. Because one man's trash is another man's treasure. Or in the case of today's guest, it's another woman's treasure. And she turns it into another treasure and gives it to somebody else. I'm Brian Johnson. And this is Nobody You Know. Hello and welcome to Nobody You Know. I'm sitting here today with Melissa Gates. She's a Bend resident and she contacted me, interested in being on the show, to discuss the repurposing of furniture. Yes. Um, what, let me, I've, I've heard the word before and everybody uses it a little bit different. Repurposing is not just refurbishing. Necessarily. No, not necessarily. It can okay. be. But... What is repurposing to you? Taking an old gigantic box tv and turning it into a dog bed or... so it's giving it a whole new purpose yes or okay. if somebody has something that they really like but they don't use it and they want to do something different with it like making it slightly different but keeping it the same mm -hmm. i don't know adding miniature things to it i like miniature things too <laughs> okay so <laughs> for example if i had a desk not quite that, but like a desk that had thick legs or something, like carving something out and sticking something that's their favorite color or their favorite thing. Cause you can get anything in miniature <laughs> and like putting it in there with a little door because they make those and I've done that on trees and it's really kind of fun. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Okay. All right. So like those little, um, those outdoor fairy garden type things. Kind little, of, yeah. uh, okay. All right. What got you into this? What's your, what's your story? I know we, we exchanged a little bit in messaging, but give me the full scoop on what got you into this. Well, um, it was actually delivering the newspaper. So I was the first person that saw everything on the side of the road that was essentially free or garbage. And um, I went to Deschutes River Woods and <laughs> there was a lot of stuff all the time. Everything from the very first thing I picked up was a laundry basket, one of those old hampers, mm -hmm. the wooden hampers that okay. were like kind of like wicker, but the thick, and it was on the side of the road in the snow. And I was like, <laughs> like I have to, I have to have it. <laughs> and ironically enough, it had this, the label in it from 1960 something on the inside still. Hmm. And I still have it. I've redone it because it was needing to be redone. But and then I just started seeing furniture and every now and again, I'd be like, oh, I've wanted that since I was little. And like, oh, I am. <laughs> and yeah, it was. I even went so far as a couple times to give a free newspaper to somebody and write a note on it saying, hey, I saw this in your driveway. Are you getting rid of it? And <laughs> it worked every time. Nice. Yes. <laughs> so it, the, just the, the complete abandonment of all hesitancy has landed you. Yes, yes. And it, You said it landed you this. This is one thing you're yes, sitting in. Yes, and a... the little ottoman okay. to it. So I was, I fell in love with this. I've had antique wicker and they got destroyed, unfortunately, in a move. Um, I saw this on Craigslist. It was free. And I texted the gal and our time frames didn't match. And I was like, okay. And she told me the story too. I couldn't figure out why I needed it. She said it was her friend that had died and they didn't have room for it and they were moving. And mm -hmm. I'm like, I really need it. And she's like, yeah, you do. And they brought it to me and left it to me. <laughs> they left it on my porch when I was at work. Okay. So left it to me. And you were saying before we started, this one's this one's going to be just more of a refurbish. Yes, okay. because this is going to be my chair that I sit in my garden. <laughs> okay, you're keeping this one. This one, yes, this one I am keeping because I, like I said, there was something about it. I just I had to have it, and it's really comfortable. And is there a story behind what I'm sitting in, or let's let the audience see? Um, well, I have a son that's two, and we're gonna paint them and maybe do some decoupage or something that he can help me with. Um, though, and the chairs we're keeping for him for outdoors as well, but they were free. Um, every time that there's a garage sale, I've noticed that if you look on Craigslist a day or two later, there's always free mm -hmm. and <laughs> it's really cool. I've been to one before where they had to be out at a certain time and I, it was kind of weird. And I mean, there was a whole home full of stuff and there was nobody there and it was just free. And I'm like, Okay, and I got a lot of great stuff. <laughs> well, I, my wife and I have tried having garage sales, and so much work goes into making twenty bucks. Yeah, it does. At, that we've started just putting it right on the curb. So if we don't want it, we're not even going to bother selling it. We're just going to put it out there. Well, yeah, and I actually 
look for those. I mm-hmm. get excited and I like trying to see if I'm the first one to get something and or I'll instantly call them like it wasn't even listed for three seconds. I'm like, can I have it? Is it mine? Did I get it? Did I win? You know? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I like it. Um, I, and I've helped a lot of people actually mm-hmm. um, at the apartments that I used to live at. Uh, this gal was going through a rough time and I got her and both of her kids all new bedroom sets for free. Well, that's what you, that's one thing you mentioned in the email. What, what do you do with the stuff? Uh, I give it to people. Mm-hmm. Um, a couple times on Craigslist, I've seen people asking, hey, does anybody have this? And I'll be like, well, I see that right there next to it. So I'll call that person and I've got them. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, I get them their stuff. Um, essentially, I'd like to have a business. I'm going to be kind of paired with a mentor um, in the next couple of weeks. I'm doing some work with the state of Oregon. It's actually helping me out, which is pretty awesome. Oh, nice. Workforce, work source, work source. I think, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've met some great people there last week, and they gave me all this information. I'm like, I had no idea it was available. So I'm going to go that route. And, um, like, the stuff I get for free, I'd like to give to people. Mm-hmm. If I can clean it or if somebody need something and they just they can't get it or they can't pay for it that would be ideal for that but if it's something that's like really awesome that i can do something different with i'd like to sell it (laughs) it, it i mean it takes time and yeah oh definitely yeah talk about some of the stuff and what you what you plan to do with it you you talk and we'll we'll put the video in later (laughs) okay (laughs) sounds good so i have a a, an antique type towel rack back there that folds completely down Mm -hmm. and I think it would be really cute to make it into some sort of inside or outside hanging plant like on the inside of it from the towel racks like two different sections make it a plant holder Mm -hmm. I'm going to do the same thing with the dollhouse um, when my son's done playing with it of course because he (laughs) saw it before I got it put away and he (laughs) loves it Um, but I think it'd be really cute to have little tiny hooks on the inside for indoor plants Okay. And, or like little succulents or something. I love plants. My first thing is gardening. <laughs> um, this, I keep going back and forth. I want to keep it how it is because it's really awesome. Or I want to turn it into like some sort of outdoor bar cart of sorts. Okay. Mm-hmm. For summertime, you know, or take the lid off or have it on hinges and have ice inside. or Because the inside is not so well (laughs) part of it's in there but that's how i got it um and it's just it's one of those cool pieces where it's like the the fake wood that's real wood Mm -hmm. with fake wood over it yep (laughs) you know everybody had one and i have one now and it was free and it was awesome and i think it would be really cool with something else like make it taller or mobile what's your background in or when you when you get hold of a piece of furniture, what experience do you have, or are you making this up as you go? <laughs> I'm making it up as I go. Okay. Um, I. So you you don't have a history of like furniture reupholstering, or you just no you're getting but creative. Ever since my mom can remember, I've like had this weird feeling about furniture, <laughs> and. <laughs> I've always loved garage sales and that's what we did for fun. And my stepmom and I would go, we still do. I love garage sales. <laughs> I love garage sales. But then, you know, as I'm a little older and a little more crafty, discovering that there's free stuff on the side of the road, I'm like, wow, all that stuff on the side of the road I can just take. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that was really kind of fun. And some of the really neat stuff that you find that's actually, why did that person throw that out? You know, keep it for what it is and like, sell it because mm-hmm. i've found a few nice items that are worth quite a bit every once in a while i see something that i would nab if we had just four more square feet in our house <laughs> yeah. yes that is a problem that is an issue <laughs> and it, it, it looks like hoarding but i promise it leaves but yeah no. <laughs> um my last place that i lived um, we were there for five years and sadly I had so much stuff that did not get to come with me. Yeah, like well, antique vanities and, mm. I mean, some really nice stuff. I lived right off Third like Street. Like the trifold vanity where you could actually close it? Those or? and ones with sinks in them. Oh, and, man. Yeah. I, and you'd be really surprised what you can fit in the back of a Hyundai Elantra. <laughs> when you really want to. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Nice. It doesn't make everybody happy, but it's fun. <laughs> okay. Will you will you continue to focus on making it as affordable and almost charitable as possible? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, um, my life has been different and extreme. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. The last couple of years, and I've 
you know, been on the verge of homelessness Mm -hmm. several times. And the one thing consistently that I've done when I like didn't have any clue as to what I was going to do, I stopped thinking about all that. And I went on Craigslist and helped other people. Very nice. Yeah. it, It, it makes me feel good. And I'm thinking I have a hard time and I don't necessarily have a lot of outlets. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more than I think. And I've been able to come across them. So I'd like to be able to help other people find those outlets too. And it doesn't even have to do with furniture, just Mm -hmm. everything in general, life in general. And so, but Hey, furniture is a good place to start. Yeah. Do you have a, (laughs) do you have a business name yet? Mm, a little bit, maybe. There's two. They have nothing to do with each other, but <laughs> one of, yeah, one of them that keeps jumping back in my head is uh, Melissa's Second Chance. Okay. So you know, everything deserves a second chance. It does. Yep. Um, I yeah, I, I don't know how many things you've done. Do you have anything at this point that you consider like your triumph? You look back on that one and you go, "I'm really proud of what I did with it and who I gave it to." And um. Yeah, they're very strange people. They were very nice. I don't I don't really even know who they were, but they um, saw an ad on Craigslist that I had for a table. All I did was paint it. I mean, they they came, like, really late at night and picked it up, and they were so grateful. And I was like, well, that was really cool. And they paid me 20 bucks for it. And okay. I, I didn't even ask for anything. All right. And, like, I got it for free, and I had the paint. They're like, but it's so neat. And they were fun. <laughs> so that would be the best, like, gift but what you did with it was simple. What's the what's the best like artistic masterpiece? Well, it would be something that I still have actually, and it switches throughout holidays and seasons. I'm at, in the process of getting ready to paint it. I keep I'm looking at it. It's an antique birdcage that I got. Um, okay. It's on the side of my house. It's red. I don't know if you can see it from over here. We'll get a shot. I had um, the table that went with it. It was wrought iron. That got stolen, unfortunately. Ooh. But the birdcage did not. So it has been seen better days. That's why I'm going to repaint it. It doesn't stay repurposed. It changes. It stays a birdcage. But I decorate the inside of it Mm -hmm. for um, any holiday that I can decorate for. Um, The main two, obviously, Halloween and Christmas. (laughs) Uh, it, It actually turns out really cool. The first year for Halloween, I have a scaled skeleton in there and I had it all wrapped in cobwebs and everything and I left him in there for a little bit during Christmas <laughs> with his arms sticking out and I had all these uh, gigantic Christmas balls uh, hanging down and so they moved in the wind it just it's really cool I mean it's not necessarily repurposing but it's using it and mm-hmm. I I um, light the underneath of it where the tray goes and so it's like a night light outside the front oh nice too. yeah <laughs> I love it it that was one of the things that they were trying to they doesn't matter <laughs> To convince me not to bring when I had to move. And I'm like, oh, no, I'll make room. I will make room. I want that. Yeah, I'm trying to find some sort of table to replace. It was it was gorgeous when I first got it. And it had been outside, and I left it outside. And so it definitely needs paint. It's a little rusted, but it's really cool. You don't see those anywhere. I've never seen another one like it. So mm-hmm. hmm. okay. yeah, that's my favorite thing. I, I like to make bird cages into outdoor things, um, lights and things like that. Mm-hmm. Bird houses, bird cages. I'm not sure where that started, but I, those are the best ones for me mm-hmm. personally. I haven't sold those yet cause I don't want to, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure, I'm sure somebody will. Nobody's get... <laughs> going to make you. If you want to keep it, you keep it. That's fine. <laughs> right. No, I mean, but I've had people say how much they like it and I'm like, Oh, okay. I can do that now. <laughs> Get get another bird cage exactly. so you can keep the one. Yeah, you, know, you really like. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, the there I do have a desk in there that I'm trying to figure out how to redo with something miniature. That's gonna be my my first time. Like I'm gonna go in and carve one of the legs. I think. Okay. And you know, whatever it was free. If I ruin it, <laughs> I've got other pieces I can make another leg. Mm-hmm. But I also have a a beautiful wrought iron bed frame that I want to weld, maybe. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to turn it into a garden bed. Oh, okay. And so you just like sink it into the dirt. And then if you want to have it as a bed frame, mm-hmm. it's not going to get ruined. It's it's like a thousand pounds. It's awesome. Yeah. You would actually, in your garden, you'd, you'd see the, the bed post sticking up. And, yeah, it's the, it's the frame, just, it's the, frame the back, yeah, yeah, the back piece. And then have like wood to represent the mattress and have the flowers in there. Okay. Have it kind of spilling over. That's kind of cute. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. 
garden bed. All right, well, we've been talking today with Melissa Gates, and I have an airplane going over as I'm trying to wrap up, but uh, <laughs> thank you for introducing us to what may be called Melissa's Second Chance when it comes out. <laughs> yes. We'll, we'll, we'll find out. What do, what do you think, a month, two months? Are we that close, or are you... Uh, I'm doing it. I'm going full force. I just made the decision, and I'm, it's kind of like there's never going to be a right time, so okay. it's it's now. All right. Now or never, so I'm hoping within the next month, yeah, if I can get things the way that they... Yeah, he's, he's getting louder. He's like he? right above us. <laughs> um, it happens. With the help that uh, hopefully that WorkSource can get for me, which, like I said, I didn't know anything like that existed, and this lady was so wonderful. She brought me all this paperwork, and so I'm going to start on that tomorrow, actually. Oh, very good. Yeah. All right. No, no point in waiting when you're ready to go. Right? All right. <laughs> well, uh, speaking of no point in waiting, if you would like to be on Nobody You Know, go ahead and send me an email at tenthandfur at outlook.com. Uh, as I've said in many other episodes right now, we're no budget. So I kind of have to stay in Central Oregon or very close to that, but we'll see if we can expand. Um, if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you click the like button and then the subscribe button for the channel and the little bell to give you notifications every time I upload an episode, which so far is every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Pacific time. All right. Well, this is Melissa Gates. I'm Brian Johnson. This is Nobody You Know, only now you do.